Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of UFC Undisputed Forever. We're back here with another fighter showcase. We're going to get back to the career modes and the title mode soon, but I figured I'd do another one. Today we're going to be doing uh, Francis Ngannou. I figured, since he's not in the new UFC game, and there's a few fights that he never had, like John Jones and such, it would be a pretty cool, interesting, um, it'd be an interesting uh, showcase. But here we, here we have Tyson Fury too. I'm thinking about maybe fighting Tyson Fury for our first fight here, possibly. Let's see. Um, yeah, we could do that. We'll do Tyson Fury versus Ngannou. Why the hell not? We'll do it at the O2 Arena. We'll have Yamasaki as the referee in true, um, late stoppage fashion. Hopefully we can get a pretty cool knockout as Ngannou. I've never used him in this game before, so forgive me if I'm a little bit ass with him, but I'm gonna try my best to try to get some crazy knockouts. I know he's really powerful. I looked into his stats a bit. I should have showed the stats. That's what I should have done. I'll show it next fight. I should really be showing the stats off. This is a showcase, after all. Okay, let's just jump right in here. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. All right. And now with the official introductions of Come on the fighters, now. I just want to. I just want to go in. <laughs> there we go. Skip all this stuff right here, and here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna bum rush him, try to knock him the fuck out as quick as possible. Hopefully we can get that done. Nice body shot. Oh, taking us down? What is wrong with you? <laughs> that was a bad idea. Oh, well, you got that. Oh, God. Maybe it wasn't a bad idea after all. He is pretty damn strong, I must admit. Alright. Oh, God. It only takes one from Ngannou, really. If I catch him with something big, he got right out of the way of that one. That was close, but no cigar. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right. Okay, Jesus Christ. He is really trying to put it on me here. I'm just going to wrestle him. He can't do nothing here. I already know I'm way better on the ground than he is. Jesus. Yeah, he's not doing anything down here, but this isn't fair for him. So we'll keep it a stand-up a fight. I almost called it a stand-up affair. Same thing. Oh, God, he drops us now. Oh, we are about to drop him, though. Oh, he wouldn't punch in time. I don't know why. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Ooh, if that landed... I can't hit him clean with that yet. I haven't been able to. Oh my god. Just one of these will be all it takes. We just need one more big shot. He's getting out of the way of them by just a hair every time. The hair that he doesn't have. Okay. This right here. What are you going to do? Take me down? What are you trying? You're really going to try to take me down again. This is a bad idea, bro. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Get in the clinching, Ghana. Why is he out clinching me? What is going on here? Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. There you go. You want to fucking play clinch games all day? I'll reverse you. You're not that guy in the clinch. I already know you aren't, so I'm not even worried about you. Jesus. I will say, Ngannou has some meat hammers on him, but they're hard to land clean. Oh, well, there you go. It was only a matter of time. He was playing with fire way too long. Very good knockout for our first knockout on Tyson Fury. He has no idea what just happened to him. Very good knockout. Not my best performance ever, because I was trying to slug it out with him, but hey, it was good enough. I'll show you his stats in the next fight. That way he gets... Yeah, he is out, out. He is absolutely out, out. Alright. Let's go to the next one. See what we got here. I'm gonna probably do, like, Brock Lesnar or something. Oh, shit. Did I just rematch an accident? Yes, I did. <laughs> Don't want to fight him twice, so... Let's go to select a fighter. Let's see who we got. Um, We can do... Oh, yeah, stats. I keep almost forgetting. Look at this. 99 standing strikes, 99 strength. <laughs> he is absolutely 
lethal if you get those strikes in. He's not very uh, fast, and he doesn't have a lot of footwork, but besides that, he's pretty damn good. His cardio is high because your cardio is also your chin in this game, which is kind of, it kind of sucks, but makes sense in a way, I guess. Um, we will fight. We already fought uh, Tyson Fury. I'll show you his stats, too, because why not? There you go. He's obviously not very good on the ground. <laughs> and then we got um, Rosenstrike isn't here yet. Surreal, Ga Surreal Gone's a good one. Curtis Blades. Stipe. We'll do John Jones, maybe. That's, that's a good one. Maybe I'll save that for last, though. Uh, hmm. We'll do Surreal Gone, and then we'll do John Jones after. We'll save John Jones for last. It seems like a good move. Herb Dean's referee. Let's jump right in. I might record some uh, career mode and title mode after this. I don't know. I'm trying to record a bunch today so I can have some stuff already like, recorded. Ready to go. I'm trying to do a little bit more recent fighters because I've been doing a lot of old fighters. Someone wanted to see a Chuck Liddell showcase too, so that doesn't really help. But I'll get that out at some point, guys. Don't you worry. I'm trying to do as many of the uh, recommendations as I can. So don't think I'm uh, not paying attention or whatever. I'm trying to get to each and every one of them in due time. Experience, athleticism, striking. Um, none of that's going to help him against Ngani right here. I'm telling you right now, he's going to get knocked the fuck out. I'm going to say first round, but you never know. Maybe he'll be able to get out of the first round. It all depends on how good I do here. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that... Like I said, I'm not very used to playing with Nganu. He has a lot of power, and not he's not very fast. I'm usually playing as someone a lot more fast. It's usually my game. Nice face-off between Surreal Gon and Nganu. Might as well get that as a uh, thumbnail. Could be good. I'll actually probably use the John Jones one for the thumbnail. That's a better, That's a better thumbnail overall. All right, we're gonna try to knock him out a little bit quicker because he's not uh, he's not Tyson Fury. We don't have to worry as much on the feet for his uh, power coming back, or even just boxing skill. All right. We want to hit him with something crazy here, but I don't want to open myself up too much. That was very good. Jab to the body. He's being smart. Very hard punch right there. He was off balance. We almost knocked him down. Probably should have knocked him down, to be honest with you. He's playing with some fucking fire here. Yeah. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Now he's in uh, bottom mount. This is not a good place for uh, Mr. Gone. Yeah, bro. Horrifying is an uh, understatement. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a real gun with the ill reversal right there. Oh, wow. Oh, I almost reversed him, but not quite. Get up. Alright. There we go. Hit him with another. Now we're cooking. He's so lucky he caught that punch. Didn't catch that one, though. Holy shitski. Gone better watch himself. These are hard punches he's getting hit with. Uh, in the clinch, even. If we break, he's going to get hit hard. Like that. A double jab from Nganu. That looked funny. All right. We're going to hit him right here. Watch. Ready? Nope. I really thought that was going to land. We got to set it up more. Jabbed or straight to the body. You really want to play this wrestling shit. They all seem to until they get on the ground and then they're like, oh yeah, I don't, I forgot. Nganu's a fucking monster. Not to mention, Surreal Gon is not really the type of guy to want to grapple. We saw how it went with John Jones and Nganu. And he just got fucking knocked out. We got TKO. Same shit though. It's good enough. <laughs> Nganu with the win. All right. We'll do uh, John Jones, and then I think I'll leave it there. Seems like a pretty good showcase already. 
We absolutely battered Surreal Gone right there. That, I almost feel bad for the guy. It's fucking horrifying. Oh my god. Jesus. That's a rough one. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo. Has the official decision. Fucking Nganu put an absolute beating on the guy. Yo, <laughs> we beat him at 420, exactly. <laughs> Nganu's 420 friendly, everyone. Uh, yeah, that is a hell of a stat line. Look at his damage. Even his arms were damaged from those punches. The ones he was blocking were even hurting him. All right, last but not least, we'll do John Jones, because why not? Um, we'll be in the blue corner for this one. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is he? There he is. Francis Ngannou, John Jones, fighter strengths. Um, why did I just do that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> fighter strengths are... Can we please get to, uh, Jones here? Yeah, there we go. Fighter strengths... He's pretty damn good everywhere, Jones is, but I think if we catch him on the end of one of our punches, we should be able to put him away pretty early. All in all. Let's go to MGM Grand, because why not? And let's mix it up, Dan Mergliata. The... Excuse me, the boy. The boy. Oh, God. Coming up next, oh, my neck just cracked. Nice. Interim heavyweight title. This ain't no inter interim shit. Is this is the heavyweight title. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a free All right. Now. And when the action begins, are you ready? Fuck, did I just skip that? Damn it. I really wanted that thumbnail. And we are Too bad. So sad. We'll get another thumbnail. Probably one of us absolutely murking John Jones. Ooh. Throw body kick. Leg kick from Ngani. Those things must fucking suck. You could hear the meat smack. That's horrifying. Uh, it might be a placebo, but it sounds like Ngani's kicks are harder. Alright. Alright. Back him up. Or he's backing us up, rather. Jab, leg kick. It only takes one from us. Remember that. I'm trying to be careful here so John Jones doesn't set something cool up. Another leg kick. He's getting hit with a lot of leg kicks. Very good. Ooh, he's getting hit with a lot of things in general now. Another leg kick. He's got a... Smarten up to those before he gets absolutely dropped with one. Yeah, I'm ripping his leg apart. This is the best leg kicks I've ever done in this game, really. <laughs> I'm just throwing them out there haphazardly. Just kind of know he's too focused on me hitting his head. Because he's terrified right now. Yeah, this I'm ripping his leg apart. Oh my god, he's starting to open up a bit. He's getting scared, though. He doesn't like this pressure that we're putting on him. Yeah, look at him run backwards like that. He does not like this very much. Oh, now he's starting to open up. He's getting... He's getting... Desperate. Oh! That might have been the fucking... That might have been the punch. Oh, my God. If this was pride, I would have kicked you in the fucking face. Oh, my God. That's it. That is it. John Jones has been defeated. We might be able to fit one more in there with Aspinall, but, uh, damn. Damn, son. That clinch punch just put his lights out. Room was spinning for him. Okie dokie. Yeah, we'll do one more. I'll do, I'll do the Aspinall fight. I feel like people would probably want to see that. First round knockout on John Jones. Those leg kicks were really putting it on him right there. All right. Um, last but not least, Aspinall. Where are you at? 
will be in the red corner this time since we just won the belt technically and Aspinall will be in the blue corner. We're gonna do this in the O2 arena and we'll use Josh Rosenthal, because why not? Mix it up with the referees, give them some love, you know? <laughs> okay, dokey. I don't know how Aspinall fights in this, to be honest with you. I haven't really played as him or played against him very much, so it could be a bad idea to fight him here. I have no idea. We'll have to find out the and tough way. Our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. And now, five All right. the action begins. Let's go right in there and try to just flatten Aspinall. I love Aspinall, too, so this is going to be tough. But, um, fuck all that. I'm bum-rushing you, bro. I'm not giving you an inch. And he's not giving me an inch either. Holy shit, he's trying to duke it out with me. I see. Leg kicks. Go back to our perfect strategy here. Ooh, big, big, big punch right there landed by us. Okay, he's letting us land too much already early on in the fight. Fuck you. You want to throw leg kicks? I'll throw leg kicks. Mine are harder. Oh my god. Oh, right through his block. His block didn't even matter. Jesus Christ. Nganu is fucking... Oh no. This is dangerous though. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're too strong for him to get us in a Komora, I guess. Even with low stamina, we were just a step ahead. No, you don't. Yes, he does. He's got this. Yeah. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I fucked up big time. Get up, get up, get up. Do not want that. Okay, I fucked up. He, like, fainted the transition right there. He's tricking me. A lot with that ground game, so I don't want to stay off there. Ooh, nice from Aspinall. Okay. He's playing with fire, but so am I. This is the price you pay when you try to get knockouts only. Fast. Oh, Aspinall with the drop. Oh, no. This has disaster written all over it. But hey, you ain't getting me that easy. You ain't getting me that easy, bro. Oh, lethal punches. Oh, man, that might be the end. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Sorry to do you like that, Aspinall. But you got to drop in. You got that knockdown in. That was pretty cool. Damn, son. He hits hard as a motherfucker. You should definitely play as Ngannou. <laughs> he is absolutely lethal in this game. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yeah, he was absolutely just destroying him right there. The meat hammers, bro. The fucking meat hammers, for real. We just made him rethink his whole life and career. All right. I would say it's a pretty good fighter showcase right there, all in all. Got some pretty sick knockouts. No one went to decision. The only one that was a little bit sloppy was our first show, uh, fight for, for the showcase. It seems like that with every uh, showcase I've done so far. Like, the first fight or so is a little bit sloppy, and then we get better and better as it goes on. There you go. I'm going to leave the episode there, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I will see you guys with the next video. Peace out. <laughs>